Hey yo, Catboy here. I'm going to tell you about a brand new TV show called Fanboy Confessionals, which is being aired on space. Fanboy Confessionals is a program dedicated to the fandom of comic books, science fiction, and anime. Basically people who are just like me. It has stories about people who are into cosplay, steampunk, maid cafes, and many of the various elements that make up fandom. There have been other attempts to create shows similar to this in the past, like TV Ontario's Prisoners of Gravity. Rick Green hosted the show as Commander Rick, where he interviewed comic book artists, actors, writers, and occasionally fans. Unfortunately, shows like Prisoners of Gravity never made it to mainstream media. Fanboy Confessionals is a lot more than just a niche audience program. It's a genuine attempt to take all the parts and pieces of various fandom and present them in a mainstream way. And it does this successfully, in a manner that's not out to make fanboys or fangirls look like freaks. This is a relief, because usually the only time when fandom makes it to mainstream is when a TV show, like CSI, needs crazy, perverted villains to freak their audience out with. There's been two episodes so far of Fanboy Confessionals, and they're both winners. The very first was about cosplay. Most of the episode was filmed at the Anime North Convention in Toronto for 2011. I had many personal friends attending this convention, and I was very surprised and pleased to see Don McKechnie. I knew Don McKechnie back in Sheridan College when we were in an animation program. Don used to host Star Trek role-playing games, and she was the very best game master ever. The second episode of Fanboy Confessionals dealt with the genre of steampunk, where people take Victorian styling and antique machines and remake them with science fiction elements. The TV show, Fanboy Confessionals, is narrated and hosted by Aaron Ashmore. People might know him as Jimmy Olsen from Smallville. The show has a very punchy, friendly style that makes it very watchable and enjoyable. Someday, I might wind up on this show myself, as I myself will be hosting an anime convention right here in the town where I live, Kingston, Ontario, in the fall of 2012. I wonder if they'll do a show about cross-dressing Muppets who like to do maid cosplay. Oh well. Fanboy Confessionals has its own Twitter feed, which you can find in the link underneath this video. The person in charge of the Twitter feed is very friendly and responds to most questions. I don't know who the person is behind the tweets, but I have a theory. So my review, I'm giving Fanboy Confessionals two huge thumbs up, and I recommend everyone who can watch it. It's on Wednesday nights from 10 p.m. to 11 on Space. Older episodes are available to watch online on the Space website, which you can also find in the link underneath this video. Dear Fanboy Confessionals, do you by any chance enjoy really bad puns in relation to ice? Press send.